Hey, my beautiful people. So if you want to see how I created this auburn hair color with strawberry blonde highlights, stay tuned. Okay guys, so since we're safer at home and we're staying at home, I'm using what I have at the house and the first thing I'm going to use is this powder lightener from Clairol Professionals. I'm also going to use this 40 developer from Clairol Professionals. I'm going to use this brush in this bowl from Annie. I'm going to use vegan dark brown permanent powder hair color. I love this brand. Next I'm going to use Garnier's light auburn hair color. It's just a box color is what I had. And then I'm going to use some hair clips. Y'all know hair clips are my favorite. And lastly, I'm going to use this double-sided color bowl, one of my favorites. Okay, so we're going to put powder into this bowl. I did not measure it the first time. Don't do like me. Measure it out. Um, I just got so much into this habit um, when I was bleaching my knots on my lace fronts. But uh, I don't suggest you do that, okay? I don't suggest you do that thing. Next, I'm going to go in with the vegan um, hair color. I'm using the whole bottle. You're supposed to be able to use this in like a half or a fourth and all that. Good. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just use the whole thing um, because you can't really measure it. You don't know what the line is for half of the bottle. You just got to eye it. And it's just safer when you're mixing things to use the right measurements, especially when it's going in your hair or on your body. Um, also, most times when I'm using this product, I mean, I literally use the whole thing. So there's really no reason for you to, you know, be trying to save it. It's really cheap, too. It's like, I want to say 3 or $4. Not bad for hair color. Okay, guys. So we are going to start off by parting this mannequin into four sections. You can go up to six sections if your hair is thicker. Also, I want to tell y'all a little tidbit about this mannequin before we go any further. So when I was in cosmetology school, I'm pretty sure I was told this mannequin does not take color. But I was like, okay, well, let me see. You know, I got time on my hands. Let's see what happens. Well, y'all going to see what happens. Just continue to watch. Just remember, keep that, keep that thought in mind. Um, so we are going to place the dark color on the roots, okay? I wanted black roots, but because we are safer at home right now, we're staying in the house. I was like, I'm going to use what I have. And my sister had this dark brown um, color in her stash of stuff that she wasn't going to use anymore. So I decided to go ahead and pick that up and do this brown color, which I think may have been a smarter decision than doing the black. But we will see when we get to the end.
Now we're going to place the hair lightener on the ends of the hair. And you kind of, I'm trying to tell you, how to, I'm trying to explain, even though I didn't show it, my bad. When you are doing it, you're kind of going to want to go up a little bit where the dark color is because you want it to kind of look like it's growing out. And you don't want it to be like this chunk of dark color and then like this straight line where you start to see light color. You kind of want it to look faded into one another like it's growing out. Like you got your hair dyed this color and now it's starting to grow out and that's why you have roots. You want that look. You don't want it to be like... Oh, perfectly placed block of brown color, perfectly placed blonde pieces. Like you want it to look like it's growing out of your hair naturally, right? Also a little tip here, if you're doing this on your real hair and your hair starts to become the perfect shade of blonde that you want, but you're not quite done yet, put some conditioner and some water in a spray bottle and spray your hair down so that it will stop the chemical reaction and your hair will stop lightening until you can finish and process. This was the moment when I remembered that they said this mannequin hair does not lighten well. Yeah, it wasn't that it didn't take color, it didn't lighten well. But I decided to go ahead and try again. So this time I measured out my lightener and my developer. I used six scoops, according to the package, six scoops of um, lightener and five ounces of 40 developer. Yeah. Yeah, I measured this time. <laughs> I also use these red gold color corrector drops, about 10 of them, um, to kind of take some of that redness out. But I only really put them in there because I had another color I was doing, which if you guys want to see that color, I will put it in the cards above. I just posted that video um, last week so you guys can see that. But I decided to also do that, just kind of try to take some of the redness out of there, try to see if I can get it just a little bit more blonde, a little bit lighter. But it was light enough for me to put the auburn on there and get the color that I was hoping for.
at this moment is when I got a little bamboozled. Look how it looks kind of blonde on right there. You see how it looks looks blonde? It wasn't. It did lighten up some more, but not that much. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I was just like, okay, well, this is the color we're gonna have. It's not bad. It just wasn't as bright as I wanted it. I kind of got a little happy when I saw it look like it was lightening up. Like, for real lightening up. And it didn't. But I did just go in with some more shampoo and some conditioner, which you guys will see right now. Okay, on one side of the color bowl, I am going to use some conditioner. And this is just going to keep the color from getting on those pieces that I bleached, that I want to stay blonde. And then I'm going to mix on the other side the light auburn. And I'm using everything out of this box. Don't try to save a little of the developer and a little bit of the color to mix for later. Use everything. I promise you, it's safer that way. Don't cause problems with your hair by trying to mix a little bit here and a little bit there, okay? Okay, so here I'm going to take and take about two to three rolls worth of hair and put auburn color on it so you're gonna see me do about three rows right and then after the three rows I'm going to take and rinse off my gloves and I'm gonna put conditioner on that row because I want little blonde pieces throughout this color first of all because I want that peekaboo kind of blonde pieces throughout it but also when you curl the hair and you have multiple colors, it kind of gives you these nice like little highlights. Um, so I'm putting the conditioner on there just so that the auburn color will not get on that hair. And if it does, it will not process on that hair because of the conditioner.
Okay guys, so this is how the hair turned out. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell button, and comment down below. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Check out a playlist on my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.